This software, Movavi Screen Capture, is used to record what's on the screen as the movie studio is being operated. Here's the Vegas movie studio. In the upper left here is the file folders. These are a list of files that are contained in this folder. This is said to be the timeline. You drag photos and videos and mp3 files onto the timeline. By default, the photo stays on the timeline for 5 seconds. If you point the mouse at the edge of this photo and slide toward the right or left, you'll increase the duration of this photo. To pan or zoom the photo, click this button. To zoom, we first have to click this very first keyframe and then press the very last keyframe. Drag the photo in to the desired zoom spot. When finished, click the X in the upper right corner. To preview the zoom, click the left edge of the photo and then click play. Let's try panning. We drag a photo onto the timeline. Click this spot. We click the first keyframe again. Drag the photo to the left a bit. Press the last keyframe. Drag the photo to the right. And then exit. Now when we preview the result, the photo is panned across the screen. Let's drag a video clip onto the timeline. To trim the edges, we hover the mouse at the left side and slide inward. We hover the mouse at the right side and slide inward. Now only the central portion of that video clip will be contained in your resulting video. Let's drag another video clip onto the timeline and choose to make a portion slow motion and a portion fast motion. To split this video clip into three sections, I put the mouse where you like and press the S key on the keyboard and then press the S key on the keyboard again. To make this portion move at fast speed, we hover the mouse at the right edge of that section, press the control key and slide the video inward. This video portion now plays at high speed. To make this section of video play at low speed, hover the mouse at the right edge of the video clip, press the control key, and drag outward. This portion is moving in slow motion. To fade between two video clips, we drag a couple of clips onto the timeline and then overlap them. When we preview, we see the video changes from one clip to the next. If you click on the overlapped region, click the transition button here, and drag one of these transitions onto that overlap region. We get a bunch of options that you might experiment with. Now when we preview, we get a more fancy transition between the two video clips. To record narration, click this audio button and then this record button. Speak for a while. To stop recording, I press the record button again. Choose a name for the file, and then click the Disarm button. To zoom in on the timeline, I'll click this plus button. If you want to remove this section of words, put the mouse where you want to edit, click S for split, S for split again, and delete that section by pressing the delete button. It's easy to delete one word or one paragraph or change the order of sentences.
In the lower left, tracks hold text or video or audio or music. To add additional lines, we right click and choose Insert Video Track. To put text onto the timeline, we click Media Generators and you might click minus and then GPU accelerated plus sign and titles and text. This is where we type any message you like or paste it in from some other source. Change the font and the size and change the duration. To reverse a video, right click on that video clip and choose reverse. Now the file would play backward. To fade a video clip, press this fade button, put the mouse at the upper right corner of the video clip and drag over. Back to normal. Now when we preview, we'll see the video clip fade. When you accidentally remove the video preview region by pressing this X button, you get it back by pressing Alt 4. If you point here and click twice, you change the size of this previewer. You need to set aside 400 megabytes of memory for use by this video previewer. To do that, you click Preferences and then Video and select 400 megabytes. This defaults to 200 megabytes, but that makes the video preview choppy. To add credits at the end, you click Sony and then Credit Roll. If you double click on this, you can then paste in the credits from your word processor file. To create the final movie, we select Make Movie. Save it to my hard drive. Choose MP4. The MP4 file will be placed into this location. When you click Next, it takes a few minutes for it to generate the MP4 file 